Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new Warhammer painting video. Now, as per usual, with all the videos, if you like them, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, drop a comment down below because I love hearing back from you guys and it goes an absolute massive way to help the channel too. So, with this video, we're going to go over how I've painted up the destroyers and the Canop Tech construct that also came with. Good old Warhammer Imperium magazine a few issues ago and these guys are pretty cool I quite like them they're quite enjoyable and they're quite fun to paint now I won't lie the paint scheme I use for the neck runs is actually a very very simple paint scheme um, but everybody's each of their own if you want to paint yours with high detail you can I am just mainly getting mine very nice looking tabletop ready more to the point now with that said let's jump into it so as you can see i'm starting off on a destroyer and i'm literally going over with good old iron breaker over the entire model as well really really good paint a really handy paint especially when you're painting up a me living metal android unit like the destroyers and like majority of the uh, good old necrons as well so really really handy to have on this one Once that was dry, I layered over certain sections of the mini itself with Rune Lord Brass. Now, Rune Lord Brass, it breaks up that colour, so it's just not a single shade of silver, for instance, and it kind of gives you that kind of um, coppery, kind of goldy metallic kind of look to it as well, which gives it a very, very nice break. And as you can see, there's some little areas that I kind of didn't cover very well with the uh, good old Iron Breaker, but I went back over them and I did sort them out. And then, because I want to make it look a bit more aged and a bit grimy, I'll lay it over with Norn Oil. Now, I could have used Agrax Earthshade, which is also very, very good, but I think that changes the colour and complexion of the Mini a little bit more than I personally like. So Norn Oil is a very, very good choice. Now, as you can see, I have left the blade of the weapon that he is carrying relatively free of Norn Oil. Now, there is a reason for this, and that is because the paint I use later on takes a little bit better to it now once that was dry i literally just dry brushed over with good old iron breaker over the entirety of the model so this kind of breaks it back up brings a little tiny bit of shine over them rough edges and everywhere like that um and has a very good look to it i think i quite enjoy painting it i enjoyed the way i did it and uh, i think it worked very very well in the end And then it's time to go back over with Rune Lord Brass over certain areas as well where the kind of Iron Breaker was a little bit too heavy. So this gives it a nice kind of very high shine uh, and makes it look a lot nicer as well and a bit more appeasing to the eye. And then it's time to paint up that blade, which I used Volupus Pink Contrast Paint over the entirety of the blade. Now, going over a metal gives it a nice metallic finish, uh, and I went over it not once, but twice, just to kind of give it a nice, good coating and make it look very kind of a lot more stand out, making sure I'm getting into all the recess areas and making it kind of kick in a little bit better as well. So it looks quite nice. I enjoy the way it looks. And I think it looks pretty damn good. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, of course, with these destroyers, they are not on their own. They come with that good old Canoptech, uh, good old construct creature as well, which is designed to kind of help repair and strip the flesh off enemies uh, and kind of reproduce more Necrons and everything like that. So without further ado, we best check out him. So, as he's got a little bit of scenery attached to him, really, I kind of base coated it using good old Mechanica Standard Grey and went over with Dawnstone and good old Administratum Grey to kind of get it a very nice highlight just by dry brushing. And I think it works very, very well. It makes it stand out a little bit better uh, and makes that kind of that base and that plinth that he's on stand out. Now, that's not the only thing I did. Because part of it looks like it's made out of wrought iron, I decided to go over with a bad and black 
over the kind of a metalwork area of his base and the, what he's st kind of gripping onto very carefully, just layering it over. And yeah, he does all right. He does a pretty nice job of kind of conveying that kind of powder coated wrought iron look. Now, onto the actual mini himself. So I'm going over with good old Iron Breaker. It's kind of exactly the same way as I have with the other Necrons. A load of Iron Breaker getting all over the entirety of the model and then just painting up certain areas and kind of make sure that you're getting into all the little recesses and nooks and crannies with that metallic colour and it gives it a very different look and it kind of makes it start to look a little bit more machine like which is very very good. Now I'm just going over straight over with Norn Oil over the entirety of this mini. Uh, it works very very well. Over certain parts of that wrought iron as well I have dry brushed a little bit of Iron Breaker as well to kind of give you that kind of scuffed up metal work and then I also go over with Norn Oil as well to darken it back down and make it look part of the wrought iron aesthetic that I wanted out of it. Once that was dry I literally layered over with Rune Lord Brass over the top part of the Construct's uh, Cora Carapace and this makes it look a little bit different and a little bit more in keeping with the army that I'm painting for the, these Necrons. Um, I personally enjoyed it, I personally thought it looked very good and it looks pretty decent. There are some other little areas that I went over with Rune Lord Brass as well including that kind of curved uh, almost tail like section that it has and that was it really. And then over that kind of big sphere in the middle of the, the construct itself I used the Lupus Pink contrast paint to give it a high shine and give it kind of tie it in a little bit better now I won't lie this paint did dry pretty dark in the end but I still think it worked very very well and it was time to touch up certain areas and go over the kind of the face of the mini itself with good old ethematic blue the kind of big circular dot which is kind of like looks like an eye in a sense as well I also painted that over with corn red and then a bit of good old Mephiston red to kind of bring out a bit of a shine to it in the end and um, that was it job done pretty pretty good I quite enjoyed painting the mini I'm looking forward to painting some more Necrons as well in all honesty I didn't think I would be kind of in looking forward to painting them but they're quite simple and it's nice to paint something a little bit more simply than what I do with the Age of Sigmar range where I try to put in a lot of detail and I go a little bit healthy level with it. Um, it is very very nice to do something that's a little bit more along the simple lines. So I'm really pleased with the results, I really enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying your minis too and uh, by all means drop me a comment. If you want to share a photo I have a discord that is open, the link is in the top description is in the description and will be the top comment by all means you can join my discord it's absolutely free you can share your pictures like a lot of the other guys in there do and you know it's all good it's all fun it's all friendly and uh, yeah I'd love to see everybody in there right that's it from me thank you very very much for watching Imperium issue uh, video will be coming very very soon good old issue 8 um, I'm literally away on holiday so this was recorded before I went away so I will post the video for the newest issue hopefully on Sunday all things provided it goes well uh, but yeah fingers crossed Sunday it should be on thank you very much for watching and um, yeah I'll catch you next time bye bye now